What's going on guys, my name's Theoatrix and today I'm showing you guys a very fast low level farming method. As a low level farmer, your main goal in terms of gaining XP is to be able to get a high enough level to start training with trees. Trees provide a lot of XP for such a small amount of time. The method I'm about to show you is not your traditional farming method at all. Instead, it involves construction and bagged plants one. None of the other bagged plants in the game are good for this method since a lot of them are really expensive and don't give much more XP than bagged plant one ones so they're the only ones you should use. I was comfortably able to get 25k XP per hour doing this method and I'd really recommend doing this over allotment runs if you have the money. But otherwise, quests are another great way to level your farming. At the same time as you're doing this method, you'll also get 25k per hour in construction. In order to do this method, you firstly need to have a house. Secondly, in that house, you'll need to have a basic level 1 garden, which your house does come with if you just bought it, but if you have a formal garden, you'll need to build a regular one nearby. The items used in this method are the bagged plant ones obviously, which you can buy on the grand exchange, but I don't recommend doing that at all because they're so overpriced. Instead, you should go to the garden store in Falador Park and the lady there sells bagged plant ones for 1k each at starting value. And when the shop is low on stock, you'll be paying about 1500 coins, which is still lower than the grand exchange price. To get to level 15 farming for oak trees, you need to get 70 eight bag plant ones, which is going to cost you a total of about 100 to 130k. For level 30 to unlock willow tree farming, you need 432 bagged plants, and that's going to cost anywhere between 550k to 700k, depending on how much you pay for those bagged plants. The second item you'll need for this method are watering cans, and a weird fact about the Grand Exchange is there's actually a buy limit of 40 watering cans per hour. Since you can only buy empty watering cans, a neat way of saving some money and getting some filled watering cans is to go to the Catherby Farming Store and buy a full inventory of watering cans, run to the kitchen nearby to fill them up, and take note that you need to click on each one to fill it. There's no fill all option for these. The last two things you'll need are teleports to your house and some rings of jeweling. To start things off, you should have your house teleports, three full watering cans, and the rest of your inventory filled with bag plants. You should also be wearing a charged ring of jeweling, and throughout this method, don't forget to keep track of your charges in your ring because sometimes you might end up stranded at your house. So once you're ready to go, make sure your teleport options for your house are set to inside your house and then teleport in and turn on building mode straight away. The bagged plant one construction spot is located literally just next to where you teleport into your house if you have the basic garden. When you plant and remove the bagged plants, it's a really good idea to use resizable mode and take advantage of the bottom area. That way you can right click and left click on the same place and not have to move your mouse at all. At the same time, you can hold down the one key to do all of the chat options that you need. So for selecting the bag plant and for removing the item. A full inventory of bagged plants is only gonna take you a few minutes. And as you probably noticed, I'm on my pure account right now and I started doing this method from level one farming and I got all the way to level 15 in 10 minutes. So yeah guys, I hope you learned something interesting today with this different kind of farming method. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're thinking of trying this out or you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching today's video and have a nice day.